I think I'm, I'm quite lucky to understand what failure has meant. My daddy was a top rugby player. So sometimes you're going to lose and you've got to get through that. Failure is opportunity. The majority of people learn from failures. Failure for me is not an acceptable option. So maybe heart failure is a great way to describe it to somebody like myself, because I go, what can I do to stop it? In 2011, I became very, very unwell, um, to the level that I had to stop working. The first time I had any symptoms, I must have been just after my 50th birthday. My dad, he used to go for lots of long walks and loved walking with the dogs, and he doesn't get very far. He's quite puffy when he's walking up a hill. I had one of those big wheelie bins, and I noticed that I couldn't actually push this thing up the hill. I counted the steps in my house for the first time, 17 steps, and I couldn't make 17 steps without stopping. Somehow, you knew something was leaking, you know, in the system. I could see my own neck blood vessel braced up here, throbbing away. So that's one of the signs of heart failure. That's when it hit me. This is what I have. The heart is the essence of one's being. Hence why when you have a heart problem, you think you're going to die. Being a heart failure consultant, I cannot forgive myself not picking this up. I had a heart function that was diagnosed at about 15 to 17%. The normal heart's function is between 55 to 75%. I was upset, angry, scared, shocked, worried, panicked, all the emotions going into one. It hits the patients as a surprise because it's a bit like you're giving somebody a cancer diagnosis. death sentence. But I think ask a lot of questions when you're there and you're speaking to the cardiologist. I have ECGs four times a year. I see my heart failure consultant twice a year. One of the magic drugs is this diuretic. And they say, this will make you feel so much better. And lo and behold, it is absolutely amazing. My heart feeling nurse told me, Jacob, I know you're very upset. And she said, look forward, six to 12 months down the line, you will get a lot better. You can live with these conditions. I notice when my water retention goes up on my legs. I notice when I get um, bubbles in my breathing. I eat healthily. I drink virtually no alcohol. I had an amazing nurse, and she was one that encouraged me to have a bucket list. So my first reaction was, those are only for people who are dying. And she went, no, those are actually for the living. Welcome to the allotment. There is life after the event for me, luckily, and so many people can live successfully with a compromised heart. Indoor skydiving, have a meal in the shard, if somebody says, let's go and walk the Pennine Way, I'll say, well, could we just walk round Hyde Park? Oh, go to Portugal. I've never been to Portugal. And the Isle of Wight. I'm so much better. I sleep like a log every night. I tend to walk on my treadmill for about an hour, most days. Freedom means being able to go and pick up my grandchildren from school. Freedom means going to that place. Love you, Granddad. Medicine's moved on massively the last couple of years. Like, it's amazing what we can do. So there is a lot of hope. Mm -hmm.